guys, what's going on? What up, y'all? Mike and Katie here. Yeah. So last week was the Too Many Games Convention 2021. So I figured we'd show you a little pickup video. Normally we don't do this kind of crap. But hey, it's been two and a half years almost since we sent our last convention, so we let's see what we excited. got. Yeah. We have a small booth there. We sell some of my doubles and things like that. So it was cool. We saw some people. We saw Pat the NES Punk. Chun Lee was there. Didn't see him. Oh, I saw him. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, because we had we were out there. Pictures. <laughs> I guess whatever. <laughs> I was at the booth most of the time trying to solve my dubs for cheap, making some deals to my homies, you know, the usual. So There's a lot of sealed crap there, which I won't go into, but I can't stand it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what we got this year. I didn't do too much shopping because I had to run a booth like I said, but I still got my money spent some way or another, you know? <laughs> so let's go through it. All right. What'd you get first? Why don't you get this crap so we can play everything that way? Okay. So, the first thing, I got my bae. Yeah, my bae got me something. A t-shirt. Too many games, 2021. Does it even say the year or no? Um, no. No. We're just going convention now. That's Super Nintendo graphic, obviously. Each year they do it. They do uh, their name, some kind of theme. That's Super Nintendo. Yep. And then, what's the red one? Oh, yeah. I had to call my homies. My Just Press Play homies. They were there. They had their own booth. My boy Mike gave me a free t-shirt. Shout out to Just Press Play, Mike and Zach were there, and my boy Brent. Nice to see y'all. They gave me a free shirt. Just Press Play, four locations. Retro Gaming, link below. My homies, check them out. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> and? Clothing, clothing. Yeah, my day's always cold, so she got herself a sweatshirt. I got a sweatshirt. What's on? Oh, my phone's blowing up, man. Come on now, I'm recording here. Uh, it's got a logo up front. What's on the back? And then the back is that same logo in purple. Nice. And the last clothing. This shirt was, they gave it to everybody who had a booth in 2021 or 2020, which was canceled. So they gave us this Oregon Trail shirt. Too many games, 2020 has been canceled, sadly. Aww. Shout out to Heather and Paul and the rest of the crew there. For a good job they did and sorry last year was such a disaster so that's cool more gone trail not dysentery just canceled <laughs> and then one more thing before we get into the games yeah my bae got me some artwork he found this cool guy what's his name's cody or so? oh man it's right here i think it's weird it's like jake cody by cody cody yeah. james cody james by cody don't really understand why it says that it's this guy's name's Cody James, just say Cody James. Anyway, this is Cody James by Cody. And he, we saw him and he did some cool stuff because it's like, uh, you can show him some scribbles. Yeah, so this is the one. It's like all just scrib scribbly lines from a ballpoint pen or something. That's Mega Man's. I don't know who that is yet. Proto Man. That's Proto Man's. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it's all just, it's all just scribbles. And then Cuphead. My boy Cuphead. No love for Mugman. Player 2. That's going to be my bad when we play it. And that's the devil. Ooh. Oh yeah, I just ripped that up. They were cheap. They were 15 bucks each. Or 4 for 40. So, There's so many. Oh no, 4 for 30. It was 15 each. Buy 2, get 2 free. So it's 15 or 4 for 30. But he had tons of stuff. He had like a lot of Marvel stuff. Looked realistic. It was pretty cool. All right, let's get into some stuff. So I finally oh, the price is still on the box. Oh, whatever. I got Scat CIB for Nintendo NES. I already had the cart. I really wanted to get a CIB because I want to play it with my bay. Looks like a Contra game, but you're flying. So this guy was selling his whole collection off, getting out of business, which is a good idea right now because everything's ridiculously expensive. So he sold me Scat in the box for 300. I already had the cart. Now I have the CIB. Book, manual, box, everything. Careful with that. That's going to be expensive one day. And I'm an idiot, so I started to get the Metroid games at a bad time in life because it's put out Metroid Dread just came out, which is a new game for the Switch. So I got Metroid Zero Mission and Metroid Fusion CIB. We should have got these two years ago because now they're stupidly expensive. 
I already heard these are both cool games. We're going to play Metroid series eventually, so here they is. CIB, great condition, still has a cellophane on it from when it was sealed, but of course it's not because I don't play sealed games. Because you can't actually play the game if it's freaking sealed, but what do I know? Careful with that, I'm missing the game. Where's the freaking game? And the third Metroid game I got was Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS. Not sure what this is. That's oh, the first person looks like, like uh, Metroid. Well, it says right there Metroid Prime. Never mind. So I guess there's three first-person shooters on the consoles and one on the handheld, possibly. I got this for my homeboy's Forgotten Freshness, which I guess I could mention. Some asshole robbed him for over thirty thousand dollars. There's a GoFundMe for them guys below. Maybe I'll link it. Very nice um, vendors. The guy's great. Frank's an awesome guy. And some clown followed him away from the convention and robbed them, so that's really sad. So the $75 I gave to them is now in some other asshole's pocket. But that's Metroid. Forgotten Freshness, I'll link them below. Help them out, buy some stuff from them. They're an awesome group. I like them guys. Next, Super Famicom. I get it when I can get it. It's Super R-Type for Super Famicom. Japanese I Super Nintendo. I know you bought that. He remember he delivered it to me. Oh, yeah. I went to the booth. I'm like, how much is that? He's like 45. I'm like... Eh, he's like 40. I'm like, I'll come back. And he brought it over to me to sell it to me. So whatever. R-Type. Big fan of shooters. That's it. Boxed. Super Famicom. And we met Pat the NES Punk there. He's got this friggin' 20 pound book. <laughs> I got the first one. This is the Super Nintendo one. There's also one for Nintendo. I mean, it's a pretty big book. This is pretty much what he does now. See you podcast and these books. Yeah, and they got nice pictures in them. Awesome art. He reviews them. He hires people to review them also. Usually in the back he has some rarity stuff, some uh, bootleg stuff. And he signed it. Yeah, he signs them all at the conventions. It's very small and it's over the top of the controller. But this is Super Nintendo Guide. There's also Ultimate NES Guide. And I got this DVD, which I didn't see from him yet. It's a documentary about used video games, stuff like that. Called Not For Reso. So I got that. I want to check it out. There's Contra on the cover. We played that. Robocop. Xbox. Didn't have it. Saw it. Picked it up. I have most of the Xbox original games. You so. want to say the real story about how this happened? It's not the real story. Somebody asked if I had it. I said, no, I don't have it. You said, I don't even have it for me. I walked across the, the hall and somebody had it for sale, so I got it. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it yet in my personal collection. <laughs> and we finally got we got to meet Jeff Wittenhagen, if I said it correctly. Black box, black box Game Challenge for Nintendo. Tower of Turmoil, homebrew for Nintendo. And this is a robot named Fight for the Switch. It's like a... Metroid type game with, um, what do you call it? Randomly generated levels, you know, something like that. So I'm gonna check these out. We met Jeff. I'm supposed to get him to sign it, but I forgot. But he's a cool guy here. I have a few books from him. Here's a few of his things he published. Jeff's pretty cool. Nice to meet you, Jeff. I got a one lonely PS2 game I didn't have. It's pretty hard to find stuff I'm missing now for PS2. So this is Samurai. Yeah, easy. Samurai Showdown <laughs> Anthology. CIB. Only way to go. CIB. Fighting games. I stink at them. But I'm trying to get the PS2 complete set and this. I'm getting there. And I got a bunch of random Wii games that are hard to find, I suppose, because I don't have any of these yet. I have over a thousand Wii games. This is Kamen Rider, Dragon Knight. This is Beyblade, Metal Fusion, Battle Fortress. So the arcade data east classics bruh heavy barrel bad dudes burning rubber what's that i never heard of that it's like bump and jump so i love me some bump and jump first mountain gamestop sells for 5.59 i paid 25 dollars lovely where's the 25 dollars on the side oh man this is valhalla nights 450 at gamestop or 30 from the convention <laughs> should have bought this shit earlier <laughs> This is Final Fantasy Fables Kokobo Dungeon. $12.99 at GameStop or $25 at the convention. 
This is Bleach, which I swore I had this one. I guess I don't have this exact one. This is Bleach anime series. And this is Rodea. This is the one they made it like you can have it on the Wii or the Wii U. I'll probably have this one again because I'm an idiot, but I don't know if it's considered for the Wii and the Wii U. So whatever. That was 50. Should have bought it when it was 10. Plus, if you go to a convention, people usually make deals the last day or two. We were shopping the first day because we can't walk around doing the real thing, which sucks. But when you have too many doubles, you have to get rid of them somehow. So that was my little Wii pickup. I gotta be close to the end of that series by now. And I picked this up for 20. I don't know what the frigate is. It's called Whack a Critter. It's some bootleg for the Genesis. Obviously not really a released game, but I never saw it before, and I think bootleg and odd stuff is cool. So I picked it up. It's called Whack a Critter. Mm -hmm. See that badass controller it comes with? He didn't have that, of course. It's like an actual whack a mole controller. Oh. It's called a Smash controller. I gotta try and find that sucker somewhere. So basically, it's a whack a mole. What a fancy theme looks like. So that's it for the actual video games. But if you want to stick around, I got a few board games. We got board games. Just in case you didn't know, we also have we board gamers. This is Ascension, the first one. Of course, I have this. But I didn't have this one, which is the first expansion to Ascension, Return of the Fallen. Can you see up there? Where's your hand go to? You can't, can you? I got like eight Ascension games, but I never got this expansion, which is the first one released. It's hard to find now. Especially the seal. This one's used. This is from the Nerd Mall. Those guys are awesome. They're there every year. I love them. I got a new game never heard of. They had a booth there. It's called Varia or Varia. They say it's like a first person card game. Like you're fighting each other, but like I mean, they all are. So I'm not gonna. S but that's cool. They gave me this mat. That's the Divine Paladin. I love playing mats. It's cool to get the cards off of. Um, where's the other box? I mean, it's just it's just a white box. Oh. I got the starter pack and I got all the characters to go with it. It's like a Hearthstone style of game. It's one versus one. Fight each other. Looked cool. Couldn't play test because I had to get back to work, but it looked neat. So we'll check that out. We got the Isle of Cats expansion to the Isle of Cats. Can you see it? Which I'm Barely. excited about. Uh, I can't really see it. Yeah, it's Isle of Cats game. This is the expansion to Isle of Cats, which is a big ass fat board game. You load cats onto a boat. It's really cool. It's a fun game. I like it. This apparently lets you have two more boats, more players, more cats, and <laughs> There's a mom and a baby cat. Yeah, um, now that I bought it, I'm not sure if it's a true expansion or just a 5-6 player expansion with some little crap thrown in. Which but we'll find out. I guess I'll find out. I hope it's a full expansion. Speaking of expansion, I found one that's impossible to find, but I got it. This is... Hold this. This is a Quaxa Quedlinburg Herb Witches. In case you don't know, it's expansion to this sweet-ass game. This is called the Quaxa Quedlinburg. Awesome-ass game. Yeah, this is one of if our favorite. If you never played it, you gotta freaking play it. This is one of two expansions that came out. It's hard to find because they sell out because it's probably awesome. So, in this game you make little pots full of stuff and it's a pressure luck style game and check it out. It's cool. And we got the, well I had this. I got the expansion. I finally found that last one there. So lastly I'm talking about my homeboys at One Day West Gaming. They're the creators of Sheep Boomba. Yeah. Which I already had. And Monster Highway which I picked up from the convention. I also got this sweet ass playboard for Sheep Boomba. Yeah, so this is new. We didn't well, have not this. really. It's uh, we didn't have this. Oh, before. new for us, but it's a Kickstarter. I didn't Kickstarter because I didn't know about it. Yeah, so this game can be played using this mat. Well, it comes with a board. Yeah. But this is nicer. So I was I was Ryan and Bob, I believe, are their names, and we met them there, and they're awesome. They gave us a sweet ass deal on this and the mat because we already had that. They published their own games. These are their first two games. There's also a Kickstarter for their third game, which I can't name right now, but I'll show it and probably link it. So the third game is on Kickstarter right now. If you want to back it, I'm probably going to back it. They're really nice guys. We're making our own board games as well in-house here, me and Katie. So they talked to us about it and everything, helped us out, and we're going to meet them to play some games with them. So yeah. they're never going to see this video in their life, but Matt and Ryan, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. We'll try out Monster Highway. You changed it. Not Matt and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and Bob. What am I thinking of Matt for? This is Who the hell's Matt? I don't know. Ryan and Bob. Excuse me. So this was fun. We played with my homeboy Mike. Now we're going to play this, which I haven't played yet, but it looks like it's going to be cool. It's similar. It's a grid. Tile game. 
I guess the monster runs around the town and probably destroys it. Yeah, you got these little cars. Yeah, and dice. We all love dice. So that's Monster Highway. It's a pretty cheap game. You can get it on the website, which I'll link below. 35 bucks, I think. I hope I'm not speaking incorrectly. This one says 30, so. But that's, that's we can get that from there. Oh, yeah. We got that from their, our local board game store. So, Ryan and Bob, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. And these are other sweet games. And I think that's about it for our pickups. Anything you want to say? Do you want to put this away? Do you want to leave everything out? <laughs> so, Too Many Games, once again, was pretty cool. It's in Oaks, PA every year. Every year we go. It's always the last weekend of June. Every single year since it started. But last year's canceled, this year was pushed back. So, last weekend of June, Oaks, PA, Greater Philadelphia Convention Center. Check out Too Many Games. Shout out to my boy, Heather and Paul. <laughs> Shout out to Heather and Paul for putting on a great show. I'm sure they're stressed as hell with all this stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So, Too Many Games staff and Scream Wave Media staff. Good job. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next year. And for you fans who are watching us, see you next week for another video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Bye, see you later.